for us, having access to books for children is vitally important. It's a resource that's not going away. And we had such a fantastic collection of books here at Camford. We needed to do it justice. So our previous library was uh, located in Manor House. In 2018, we had a need to expand our dining facilities into that space. While that was sort of all taking place, plans were in motion to, to start building the, the library down here. The idea behind the whole thing was to create this, this third space for pupils where you could escape the sort of the, the everyday busy life at Camford, come in, reflect, reset, study. And, and, and we think it's achieved that really well. The school almost has two sides. It's got one side which has got the playing fields and the gardens. And on the other side of the site is the River Stour, with, with all of its landscape and sort of beautiful views and so on. So, in, in essence, the landscape drove the way that we designed the spaces. So you have very sort of focused learning spaces on the garden side, and you have what we might describe as more uh, contemplative learning spaces on the, on the river and the landscape side. The new library sits parallel to an existing 1930s assembly hall and the proportions and heights of the hall were referenced into the south elevation. So we've got horizontal timber, briseolet and precast fins which provide protection from solar gain whilst also creating um, a sense of depth to the elevation and enforcing this coherent sort of language between old and new. Part of the appointment, if you like, was to uh, look at how we could increase the size of the assembly hall in terms of capacity. We could see that there was some synergy between uh, having a new library building and a quite an adaptable space next door. So essentially what we did was we created this link building between the two, which meant that in the evenings and so on, if they had shows or events, that the link could become almost like a foyer to the assembly hall but it also acts as a foyer during the day to the library. I mean, it's, 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 very, it's obviously very rewarding to, to, to find a building that has almost been um, overused to some extent. It's, it's a really inspirational space to come and learn. And it just creates really flexible spaces for us, which can be allocated to all sorts of uses. And, and I think actually what's very interesting as you walk around the spaces is the different ways that people are using the building. So, you know, we have people writing on magic walls and, and discussing all sorts of theories about their work, people in corners with a book, people on computers, um, people looking out the window, yeah, that, you know, is a very rewarding thing to come and see, you know, in the flesh. I think what's quite interesting, because this um, building was on site for, I think, almost 18 months, you see it as an empty shell for so long, and um, to actually come back and see, yeah, students occupying the space and populate it and bring it completely to life is, is kind of, um, is quite something. <laughs>